channel if you're new here please consider subscribing don't forget to press on that bell notification bell you'll always be the first to know when i upload a new video it is max from the milks creation tv thank you so much for coming back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to give that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share let a friend know about uh, this important information that we get to share in one way or other. Remember, we are looking at a road to 1,000 subscribers. Please support this channel by subscribing. Don't forget to press in that notification bell. You will always be the first when to know when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at the additional skills that you are supposed to have. Remember, we are still looking at a section of the jobs in the Gulf, jobs in Qatar, jobs in the Saudi Arabia, jobs in Oman, jobs in Kuwait, jobs in Bahrain, and uh, jobs in uh, uh, Jordan, all these are part of what we call the Gulf countries. We all know the biggest opportunities have been in Gulf countries. And that's why we are here, or that's why you are there where you are working. But again, just look at something. When a person who is sponsoring you, a company that is sponsoring you, it can be a sponsor that is recruiting you or that is getting you from your home country, is what we call a sponsor. And most of the people come with what we call the work visa because it's sponsored. It can be for a duration of a given amount of a uh, given time. Let's say, for example, one year, it can be for two years, it can even be for five years, depending on the contract that you are signing with that company or depending on the sponsorship what the, uh, the company has for you at that time. And this is when we are looking at a situation whereby your employer, the person who is sponsoring you, he needs a given quality or he needs a need, uh, he needed set of qualities from you for you to perform his role or to perform for that actual reason why you are being recruited in your country. Right? We are looking at some of those additionals, uh, some of those skills that you should have he expects to have. Like you should be literate, you should know how to read and write. You should know how to, to, you, to communicate. For example, you're given in a customer care section, you should know how to talk to people. You should be presentable. You should be alert. You should be energetic. You should be that person who is a little bit presentable when it comes to representing that company that you are working in. This is exactly what we are talking about. And that is for the side of the employer. Because is, that is what he expects out of you. That is what he expects out of you. And that is the reason why he recruited you just from your own country to come and work. But something that you need to know, still latterly, that's something I need to let you know, is that all these Gulf countries have different systems. Let us not go portrait too much, we go in too much deep in the system, but we can look at the very vision or the reason why we all came or why people come is because they came they, they come to look for money, right? But remember the salary scales in these countries are totally different. They may be just because of the currencies, they may be also because of the company or what you call the government loans at one moment of time that governs the labor. So, in today's video, we want us to try to, to stress out and see what are these additional skills that you need to have. For example, for you to survive. For example, for you to save up the additional income. Other than you spending a half of your salary, what can you do? What do you need to inculcate in yourself? What do you need to learn? Oh, what do you need to go out of the section and put those right things that you think are going to move you up to the right direction? And this is what we want to see. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon. Subscribe. We're looking at a road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's go straight into the video. One, socialization skill. That is nobody, no one else. No one is going to teach you how to socialize. That is an additional skill that you need to have in yourself. Because you know, where we live, where you live, 
it is a malculture people. We have different cultures of people, different nationalities. So how better do you adopt yourself? How better do you adapt yourself to those multicultural nationalities? How do you get to deal with the different nationalities? If you're so lucky enough in the room, let's say in one room and you're sleeping for, you might be sleeping with people from the same country. That is well and good. You must so be so lucky. But imagine a situation where like you are not sleeping with the people of your nationality, you're sleeping with the different people from either from Asia or West Africa. But remember, all those people that you're sleeping with in the same room, it is their kind of reason, is that they came to look for money. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. So what happens is that you need to learn how to socialize. You need to learn how to deal with people. You need to learn how to hold yourself. How to get off with a challenge that comes your way. How to deal with the stressing situations when they come in the hardest part. Some may look at it as something very simple, but no, it is something that you should learn. Not everyone has a socializing skill. Not everyone can socialize freely with other people. Remember, if you don't give out yourself to open up yourself, you will end up suffering from what you call homesickness. All the time you will be thinking about going home. All the time you will be thinking about people home. Exactly, that's what happens. So that is a skill, that is a skill also that you need to learn the socializing part of it. Skill number two, you need to learn how to, to learn how to cook. Yes, this is something that most of you do not take it serious, especially in your home countries. Because you know, some of you, some of us, we may be married. We may be having our mothers, we may be leaving our parents, or we may be looking at living in a homestay where we came from, and they're cooking. We only have to come and eat. But this is a situation whereby by the expectation, the expectation of us, the reality, you'll face the realities of it all. And the realities we are talking about, you are going to prepare food, start preparing food for yourself. There are companies that don't provide food for the employees because it gets a little bit expensive for them. And the convenience of it all. The time factor also is very important. So what do you have to do? Are you going to spend half of your salary to go to a hotel or to pay up in a hotel or to pay up in a food, a food joint for you to eat every day? Yes, if that is something that works for you, then well, you can go with that. But if you have your touches and you have your goals, then that means it's not going to work for you. What option do you have to put in your head is that you need to calm down yourself and learn within the available resources or learn, take time to learn how to cook and prepare something to eat so that you can have a little bit of saving of what you have to have at the end of the day. This is so serious, especially when you look at some of the security companies. Most of the security companies, for example, in Gulf or in Qatar, do not cook for, 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 for the employees. It has a disadvantage in one way or the other because it reduces on the time you're supposed to reach and do other things. But again, also look at another advantage that you prepare what you know, what you want to eat. Not like a situation whereby the company will prepare for you what one cost one cost meal every day. You get tired of that cost meal and you have to eat because it is part of your money that is being deducted for that provision. So you find that in that situation. You have to learn it as a skill. And that's why most of the people working in the Gulf, by the time they go back to their home scene, they're the best cooks ever, or the best chefs ever, because they've learned such kind of things for a long period of time. Every day you have to improve yourself. Every day you have to continue improving yourself in one way or the other. Then another one, another, we look at uh, skill number three, is laundry. You have to make learn. your clothes how to make your laundry you have to learn how to do that why why are we talking about this not all companies will provide what you call washing machines for you if you're so lucky enough that in your company washing machines are there you must be so lucky use them 
learn how to use that machine because you never know tomorrow in your home or anywhere you may have that machine at a time so if you learn to use it it is again it's going to add on what you know or what you have at a time but look at the unlucky part of it all when this is a person who works in the company and there's no washing machine what do you have to do you have to squeeze the clothes by your hands you have to do the laundry by your hand because you remember as your employer he will expect you to be smart he will expect you to be clean there is no any other the excuse you going to give him at that time if you feel that one you cannot hold it and you still you are willing to spend half of your money or half of your salary then that's when you have an option of doing laundry you get to a laundry company that will do for you the laundry at whatever cost for you So we look at skill number 3 is cleaning. Cleaning is also another skill. You need to learn how to 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 clean yourself, to be clean. Cleaning with us we would not only look at we we are not actually looking at you cleaning the trenches, sweeping the compound as in we have in our homes or uh, cleaning the house as in our homes but Look at the personal cleanliness as your person. This will go to cleaning your bed, this will go to cleaning your utensils, this will go to cleaning your shoes, this will go to 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 cleaning your clothes because all that will put it under cleaning. You're not going to be under a dirty bed and you think the company will come and clean for you. It will never, it will never. It gave you the accommodation. That means the rest of the part you have to play it yourself. If you're so lucky and you live in that company where by even the cleaners or the cleaning companies are coming inside your apartments or inside your rooms to clean for you then that is well and good. The companies that you don't even do what you call pest control. So meaning that if you don't take care of yourself what will happen is you know what happens the disastrous effects of what happens we have the uh, the intestinal pest or uh, insects like the cockroach we have the bed bugs we have the other small uh, creatures that will come in the house so meaning that you have to to get away of how to learn to do it yourself to learn how to clean by yourself which is quite very important we look at another one is uh, saving you need to learn how to save also no one is going to teach you this much as some of the people may say it's quite very obvious But again if you're saving you should have a reason why you're saving you should have cardinal points you're relying on why are you saving that money where are you going to do with that money which is quite very important at the time yes we may live every day we so lucky that every month the money will come but imagine it's a situation when that money comes and it is not used for the right cause or you set for yourself long and short term goals but they are not accomplished because money is being diverted to do other projects or unnecessary things that are not part of what you put in the basket of goals remember when we talk about the baskets of goals we have what we call a scale of preferences not everything you have you'll have to do it but you can scale them out starting with the most pressing need starting with the most pressing priority then the rest will come later that is how we, that's what we call scaling scaling your preferences in one or the other so if the cardinal point of it or the cardinal reason of it all is that we came to make money to improve ourselves to improve our world to improve the lives of our parents to to pay up school fees for our kids to look after our families then you should scale all whatever you do in the preference such as at the end of it all you can accomplish whatever you have to do hope it was a very good video and it was a very good information that we need to share in one way or the other by the way don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give the thumbs up don't forget to share uh, comment in the sub section i'll always be more than happy to get back to you this makes from the next creation remember we are looking at about 1000 subscribers guys don't forget to subscribe this channel subscribe as we are looking at the road to 1000 subscribers thank you so much see you again in the next video